I said, now, meet me in the mall. It's going down. Meet me in the club. It's going down. Meet me in the drive. It's going down. Anywhere you meet me, just know I'm going to be eating. Boy, if you don't... Magicians have played an amazing role in making America's Got Talent a huge success. But their famous magic tricks are still a mystery for most of the people. So, be it the person making his head fall completely off of his body. Never he just took his head off his body. Oh, this gotta be some fake stuff. Nah. Heck no. Nah. And today, we're gonna unlock some of the best magic secrets from your favorite show, AGT. So, oh yeah, that look good started. right there though. At number five, head drop illusion. What the f man? Yes, even this insane trick is explainable. In this magic trick, as you can see, the performer walks on stage, starts performing, and all of a sudden, his head drops off to the middle of his chest. Then, to the amusement of the audience, he holds his head with one hand and brings his head back to its original position. This isn't real, you must be wondering. Well, before revealing the secret, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get instant notifications of our new video upload. Oh yeah, subscribe to my channel, yeah, I don't Here's know what he's talking about, Halloween. subscribe to mine. To Heck, he think he's doing some free promotion on it? Nah, subscribe to my channel. His knees ...and a button-down collar shirt for the outside part of his costume. For the internal part, he simply creates a triangular frame which looks like this, using a hanger, two wooden sticks, and duct tape. So this whole time I could have been popping off my head with two sticks and a hanger, a hanger, so that this whole setup is right. covered by the jacket. Now, while performing on stage, he simply lifts his jacket up by pushing the coat hanger attached to the wooden sticks, and at the same moment, he brings his head down through the V-shaped frame present inside his internal costume. Simultaneously, he holds his dropped-off head with his left hand to make this trick appear more realistic. And finally, to complete the trick, the magician pulls his head back up with his left hand. At number 4, Smoothini's German Salt Trick. Now I know his trick real. You got the hack to the back, you look a little black. Hey, his trick real. I don't care what nobody said. Salt trick by disappearing salt in his palms and then getting it back again. Yeah, look at my boy. The secret here black. lies in the thumb the? cap that Smoothini wears over his thumb that is most often visible to the camera when we have a careful look at his thumb. To perform the trick, Smoothini starts by moving his thumb onto his palm and fisting his fingers around it. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky! In his fist. Now, he pours the salt inside his fist and takes out the thumb cap from the fist by moving his other hand thumb inside the fist. The thumb cap is now on the thumb of his other hand and the salt is present inside of it. He goes on to repeat the trick several times, thereby making the judges and the audience believe that he could actually make the salt disappear in his hands. Oh yeah, that At boy too. No, no, it's trick real. I don't care what nobody say. Tony and his twin brother Jordan once performed an amazing trick that brought the America's Got Talent judges and the audience to their feet. Well, it ain't gonna their bring me to mine. I'm technology. sitting down. Here's what they did. Tony began the trick by stepping behind a giant screen he'd brought onto the stage. Then all of a sudden, he appears on the screen. On screen, he splits himself into two, making the audience realize that they are not just looking at Tony, but also his identical twin brother Jordan. From there on, Tony and Jordan worked together on stage to perform some amazing, cool, interactive stuff on the screen, as you can see here. Oh yeah, them boys cold. Oh yeah, they cold.
Oh no, nah, he ain't tell me that she had a twin. Nah, <laughs> they think they well, tough. The uh -uh. Stuff of the act I gotta tell me more. Understand. They just have a video playing on the big screen, and the twin brothers don't really interact with the screen or affect what's happening on it. Before this act, they had practiced hard enough to make sure exactly what they need to do on stage, thus creating the illusion that they are interacting with the screen. So a lot of tricks were performed in a very short time, and we'll be revealing these following key secrets. Turning napkins into a red dress. After the girl appears on the screen, Tony and Jordan shoot red napkin-like cloth at her. The red napkin flies to the screen and becomes a red dress on the girl. How is this done? Well, they don't really shoot napkins at her. The real napkin activity actually disappears into their sleeves as soon as they let go of them with one hand. This is done using a gimmick called Gecko, which pulls the napkin inside their sleeves using elastic bands. At the same Told you them boys weren't real. Told you them boys weren't real. That black boy? Oh yeah, he real. <laughs> yeah, he real. Basically, everything happens on the screen. All Tony and Jordan have to do is release the napkins at the right moment to create the visual illusion that they are shooting the napkins onto the screen. Lighting up the bulb. Tony never lit that up. It was just the video playing on the screen which made the illusion of the bulb lighting up. Also, you can see here how he gets rid of the bulb behind this bookshelf. The balloon illusion. At one point, Jordan takes a yellow balloon and hands it over to the girl on the screen. If you look at the video closely, you can actually see how the balloon in his hand explodes and the pieces fall to the floor. Yeah, I seen that the first time, I just ain't say nothing. Disappear by <laughs> popping it up. At the same time, the balloon appears on the on-screen video. The twin girls appearing on stage. If we pause the video here, you can see this small cupboard to the right of the screen where the girls are actually hiding. Before they appear, you can also see how Jordan conceals the view with a blanket, which enables the girls to crawl from behind the cupboard towards the middle of the stage. At number 2, Snowman Trick Matt Franco once performed the snowman sketch trick on America's Got Talent to leave the audience and judges in a real thoughtful situation. Matt uses a sketchbook that has three parts of snowman printed in various styles. All the judges are asked to choose any style at random, and finally, the chosen snowman matches the snowman Matt got in the gift box, along with the greeting cards he already placed under the seats of judges and the audience. Matt's in this trick used a gimmick book known as a Svengali book. This book, unlike normal books which contain pages of equal length, has a twist by having short and long pages alternatively interleaved. See, it's always some mathematical stuff in these magic tricks. The and they be killing me. Just have that same picture of the snowman that Matt wanted for his final result. Before the actual trick began, the book was fanned downwards by Matt while showing it to the audience. Matt intentionally fanned the book downwards with his thumb that showed only long pages with different snowman pictures. But if you look carefully, while showing it to the judges, he fanned the book pages upwards using his thumb that opened only the small pages that had his resultant snowman picture. So, finally making the choice up from all three judges except Simon. Matt finally calls Simon up to unveil the gift in which he had the exact same snowman as it was in the book. Also, the greetings received by everyone had the same drawing indeed, because that was all the choice of Matt to give it to all. I ain't gonna lie, after so even I watching that, I still don't know how he did it. Our list. Yeah, we just gonna Demi let the video go and keep going. Death drop escape. Demi and Adita, the greatest escape magician on the show America's Got Talent, performed the death drop act, in which he was hung above inside a wooden box with his hands cuffed and completely locked using nails. The wooden box was hung above the ropes, which was supported using the pulleys. This blowtorch was lit that would break the support of the ropes, and that would make the box fall over the three spikes that are strong enough to destroy anyone inside the box. And to make the act look even more dangerous, the spikes... Am I the only one to be one to see these magic tricks the fail? <laughs> Demian had to get out of the box before the blowtorch breaks the support rope and the box comes crashing down over the spikes and fire. But as we all know, Demian is an escape artist, and he really has perfection and control over what he does. 
So after the blowtorch was lit, Demian got his handcuffs easily opened, but he didn't have enough time to open the box, and the support rope was finally burnt and broken. But instead of the box just crashing down, the box just hung up above. It was said to be a technical error, which created the tense moment between the judges and the audience on the show. I literally just spoke it into existence, so it did fail. <laughs> judges and amazed them to a shock. If you're thinking, how did he do it? Then have a look. If you look closely, behind the entire setup you can find out a black background that is slightly visible. It is this backdrop that makes the entire trick come alive. When the box fell and got hung up, Demian had a bypass from the backside of the box that gets opened instantly, and using a ladder, he gets down behind that black background. Oh, so he did it on purpose. He comes behind oh, the okay, I see. and amazes them all. So, those were the top magic reveals from America's. So, there you go, YouTube. Just let me know if you want to see more of these type of videos and reactions. Go ahead, spam the comment section, shoot the like button, and kill the subscribe button. Let's go.